What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Magic the Gathering Podcast. Today, I have a very exciting player on, on set. Hi. Um, He's done a lot in in the realm of uh, the local circuit here, uh, local comic book stores. He's just absolutely been dominating the, uh, the all the local tournaments. Um, actually, won a five hundred dollars tournament last week, so mm-hmm. congratulations! Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, uh, so um, everyone, make please make some noise for um, Clive Clevens. Thank you so much, Steve. Yeah, how do you, how do you feel about the new booster pack season? Oh, just feeling good. I think it's gonna really change the game in a good way. Yeah, I think it's gonna be sorry. My retainer soon. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on, just <laughs> still has a list with the retainer out. <laughs> just hold on, give me one second. I just have um um bunch of Mountain Dew residue <laughs> stuck on the top of my Invisalign. Give me one second. <laughs> Yeah, so um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, welcome back to the podcast. This week on Fuck Instagram, <laughs> we have first we have this dude's time. captions. I'm on his page right now. I'm just going to read you something. I'm not, I'm not even going to say who it is. Yeah, who it is doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. It just, it, this, just picture this as every, yeah. I don't know, what do you think? Every, um... Any any dude with a with a eight pack, yeah, a natural eight pack, yeah, who doesn't actually have a job and has yeah. never had a job before, okay, a dude who's gotten by just showing off his V, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know what I'm saying? yeah, he wear he gets low rise jeans, mm-hmm. basically a dude who puts a space between every letter and thinks that's deep, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, paradise, paradise, but it's like double as long as mm-hmm. just the normal, yeah, paradise yeah. caption, yeah. okay. <laughs> Okay. Hit, him with, hit him with a hot one. Hit him with a hot one. Oops. It's a new day with boundless love and endless possibilities. That's one of him just, just standing there shirtless. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Next picture. Wait, no, no, no. The, the end to that caption is an endless day and something possibilities. Uh, and then at the resort that he's staying yeah, at yeah. because they're paying him <laughs> yeah. to, to take that picture. Or Which, uh, by the way, not work. Yeah. Or um, there are endless possibilities to the ways you could be sucking my dick, <laughs> is what he would say. Next caption: Streets of Bali. Leaf emoji. Life is crazy. <laughs> next cap. Next one: Sick, The brother. wild journey of life. Next one: Wild soul. And the O is like that O with the cross through it. Oh, <laughs> what does that mean, Korea I Tyler? I don't know, dude. What does what? that mean, Korea Tyler? Oh, you're so creative, bro, dude. Next, next cap. These are all in a row. On a different planet, anything can happen. That's the next one. And it's just a picture of them on Earth. Planet yeah, Earth. Sick. You can fuck directly off <laughs> with those captions. Fuck insanely off. <laughs> Dude, it's like it's crazy when you're on another planet. Like anything could happen. Like if you're on Jupiter, like you you're fucking you'd be crushed by <laughs> gravity because it's just the pressure is just insane over there. And that's there. why I don't understand about the captions. They're not Exactly scientifically accurate. <laughs> yeah, I would have to, clearly on planet Earth. Yeah, clearly I would have to agree. It's just there's just certain level of uh, just a lack of awareness. But you know, if if we just learn a little bit of positivity, we could educate him. How? Uh, what do you think? What grade do you guys do you think that guy got in science class? <laughs> what? That dude right there. Uh, what grade and, did he get up to? No, oh, that and and or like, what great like what yeah well in Canada we call them marks. Mar- so what uh, mark did you? What mark did he get? Um, I'm gonna bet like a D minus after he fucked his teacher. I was just about to say I, I think he's the type who got to fuck his teacher, so yeah. I think he'd actually be higher, but like a false positive. You know, it's like a no, no. She just barely passed him. <laughs> like he was on <laughs> the edge, bad? and he showed up after class, and he's like, "Dude, miss like whatever. Like I can't like <laughs> what." <laughs> she's like oh jesus um wow i've never felt this way my husband hasn't made me feel this way in a long time um oh uh, well he's like what if we just fucking fuck <laughs> what if we fucking fuck. just like fuck <laughs> dude paradise is fucking nugs <laughs> Again, dude. 
snug. Yeah, just gotta just chill with yeah. the <laughs> just, sister with him when we're doing that joke, just bro. Just get away from the ends. Just get away from the ends. Uh, man, fucking sig, dude. Spe- speaking of fucking sig, yeah, <laughs> we've had a hell of a week, <laughs> dude. We had a crazy ass week. Um, you guys been what? Like, I know you've been. You might have seen some tweets. You know, you, you're leaving us some comments, and you're wondering how exactly do we know Post Malone albums lyrics front to back <laughs> word for word how do we know that so and i know i know it's crazy that we would know those lyrics like that just bang off the top of our head we've been practicing yeah um tweeting them out letter by letter yeah. space between each letter yeah okay i think it's important to say we're only bringing this up because there's something even funnier out of all this yeah that is the biggest full circle yeah we've ever Experience. I mean, we can't not talk about it because it's it's just so <laughs> ridiculously absurd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, let's just say we went to Elon Musk's house <laughs> <laughs> on on fucking I, Sunday night. The Sunday Sw- night, hand to fucking yeah, god, hand to fucking god, hand to god, hand to god. On everything I love, <laughs> we were. Oh man. Dude, it's oh so, man. It's so absurd. It if you is... told us, if you told us when we were. In here, well, it wasn't this room, it was downstairs. <laughs> yeah, the downstairs with studio. The old studio. When we were making the song, Elon, Elon, fuck, Elon my fuck, my fuck My Wife, you told us at that moment that we'd, in however many months, what's it been? No, Six someone months? even just per, like threw it out there, was like, hey man, do you think you'll ever meet him? No. Yeah, we're like, definitely what? not. He's so off limits because, I mean, he's so, there's no barrier to this guy because we will never meet this guy. Yeah. So far removed. <laughs> I've never... Like felt so many degrees of separation collapse, <laughs> like know, in dude. seconds. It was. I was like, this guy probably has like teams of security. Like once you get through the initial guy, yeah. There's like a you know a gate. Yeah. Once you get through that, there's like a quarantine <laughs> area where you have to be like checked for diseases and stuff. And then once you get through that, yeah, it's like a guy with drug dogs. And then once you get through that, then Elon's standing there like, "Hi, what's up, I'm Elon." Yeah. Right. Well. <clears throat> well, I guess I mean I don't know. It wasn't like that. Oh, just, God damn it. How does this? Okay, so um, we were hanging out with Post mm-hmm. and uh, super nice guy. Who, by the way, awesome, awesome yeah, dude. Yeah, super genuine. Super genuine. Every time I see people that are like, I want to meet this guy. He seems so genuine. Like, On his like music videos and stuff, absolutely true. Yeah. He's awesome dude. Great yeah. sense of humor. Really yeah. funny. Um, he, he hit us up to uh, get some drinks, and we were like, yeah, let's do it. So we were hanging out, and abruptly he goes... <laughs> You want to go to Elon Musk's house? And we're like, nah. We're like, come on. Come, come on, dude. Because the song yeah, is you fucking know, you around. To, he's like, what song? And we're like, oh, you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. And but then, first of all, it was just, it was like confusion. It was like, well, how the, f- yeah, what? Yeah, how? Yeah. How? Why? Yeah. It was also like two in the, or what, it was like midnight or what? One it, in the morning? Yeah, like it was that? like midnight close to 1 a.m. It was crazy. It was close to 1 a.m. And I didn't even realize that much time had passed. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that's the most drunk I've been in a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were smashed. Yeah. Yeah. And fucking hammered. Yeah. So he's like, all right, let's go. And that's with all that water and a fucking chicken parmesan pasta that I ate. I was <laughs> still gone. Bro, I've never seen someone. You were, in the, you were in the zone where you'd look at me. And you'd be like, dude, and you just like shake your water cup. You're like, I need water right now. <laughs> like you just get a fear in your eyes. You're like, I don't know. I don't know what this is. What is this feeling? I've never no, been this drunk before. No, I've been I've been there. I've been there. I was like on that on that fine line to blackout. Yeah. You know, I could feel it like I would blink. And it was like scenes from my life were missing. Like, <laughs> oh, why am I in the bathroom? Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Oh shit, I'm back outside. Like I'm just like teleporting. <laughs> like, <laughs> and just like can't feel my feet and shit. So yeah. Well, it, you're you're seeing in fifteen frames per second. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Everything's like hey, <laughs> shit skipping. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking what so fucking You blink in an hour's <sighs> pass. Yeah, I'm like, wait, what? 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 So uh, What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck happened, dude? So And we were getting drunk off. Oh, so it's, it's like this, like green tea shot. Yeah, it tastes. Uh, that's the problem, dude. It tasted so sweet that you're like, oh, that's fine. Super sweet. I'll and we're do another. just out of these things. I'll do another. Post also, you know, you know how like I had some people be like, oh, dude, you know, celebrities party, man. 
post likes to get down, but we were like taking shots. And when I was, when I would like push one back, like this is too much, he just take it and drink it. Yeah. Like he, he never wants to no one like shamed them for not drinking. Yeah. Which I found, I don't know, this is like a small thing, but I thought that was kind of tight. Oh yeah. No, definitely. You know, Cause like it, it, you would, when it's, I don't know, man, how to explain it. You know, like you're a little intimidated by someone. Yeah. Like just forget like their social status. I mean, just like their party level. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. someone who can take it. You're yeah. like, I can't like someone who can hang when you know you can't. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. I get that feeling often because I'm like, oh, fuck, fuck me. This guy's going to put down like 20. I could put down half of what he's going to put down and I'll look soft as shit. I mean, that's part of peer pressure. <clears throat> yeah. Not totally. the, only the person explicitly saying, hey, do this. It's more like, all right, well, there's like a social pressure. Yeah, too. Yeah, this yeah. guy's putting down 20. Yeah. What are you, you know, going to do? What bro? are you going to do? If he's squatting 680, I'm fucking putting you down can't rack up and squat <laughs> four. <laughs> Could you imagine just being too afraid to tell a guy to pull off weight? <laughs> yeah, you're going to get in this, brother. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just like, yeah, totally. And you just you just get under it. And you can't even get it up. You're like, yeah, I think I'm. You know, I'm. Or you manage to get it off, and it just fucking just collapses. <laughs> you just you. collapse. Just cr- crumple the kid. <laughs> you just like like turn into liquid. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's like a bunch of little balls, yeah. like just marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are just floating at the top of it. Like those little like like fucking eyes that you glue on, I don't know, pumpkins or whatever. They just like <laughs> two little dots. Googly eyes. Googly too. eyes, yeah. Oh man, I don't ever want this to finish the story. I'm thinking I'm thinking about like going to Gold's with a girl or something that you're trying to impress. <laughs> and you're like, all right, let's work out together, whatever. Oh yeah, this is my homie. The guy he's like, Wow, look at that guy's look how much he's weight he's squatting. He's got one on there. Is that six eighty? Oh yeah, that's actually my homie. Yeah. Go up. over there. Yo, what up, Clive? Hey, how you doing, brother? Good to see you back in here. <laughs> yeah, good to see you too, bro. What are you, yeah, what you sure. putting down up here? Uh, you know, just warming up 680. 680, huh? Yeah. Just, cool. just yeah, getting yeah. started. Yeah, yeah, I was just repping. I was just repping like 508, so I think I could go probably 680 for one. Okay, nice. Yeah, yeah. you you want a spot? I don't need a spot. It's all good. You sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you don't need good, a little dude. help getting off the... Getting uh, off the rack? N- maybe that, but then but then you can stand back. I'm totally good. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead. Tony, let's help, okay. let's help this guy. Ready? All right. Lightweight. Let's He's go. going in for a lightweight, lightweight baby. Light, Let's go. Up. All right. Okay. Stand back. Stand back. Marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Dipping dots, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 You got it. Yeah, I got. It. You got. You got it. Yeah, I got. It. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Weights just go straight to the floor. Boom. <laughs> yeah. He helps you rack it off. And then he's like, You good? You good? Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. You sure? Yeah, yeah I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to let go. One, two, three. Gone. Shit piss. <laughs> just as soon as he takes it off. <laughs> Just like compressing a Coke can. <laughs> it's just like busting out the sides and just. <laughs> <laughs> right after putting Mentos in it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God, dude. Oh, so, so anyway. So, okay. All right. So post is like, let's go to Elon's. And after we kind of, you know, like realize that it's for real. <laughs> I'm personally like, oh, fuck, man. I'm starting to not regret, but I'm like, Jesus, I've, if I have to own up to any of my tweets, yeah, this is going to be fucking weird. I mean, even on the way there, I was like, there's no way that this is real. There's That's no way saying. this is going to work out. Yeah. And then like w- we were having trouble finding it. And I was like, ah, the, he probably didn't answer. We're not going in. And then we just pull up to a house and the gate is sliding open. And this now there's only way I could one way I could describe this guy's place. It's if you, the second Matrix reloaded. Do you, do you remember this? Did you ever watch mm, the second one? Yeah, I think so, but I don't. Really the remember. fucking weird French guy, the Merovingian, like he—he's this weird villain. He lived like in a house like that. Like that's where I felt like we were going. Uh, okay, because we were in a black SUV, and I just oh shit, Eight, fifteen agents are gonna pop out, and we're just gonna get unjacked, and then that's it. We're dead. Yeah. <clears throat> are they like? Like hit you with some sort of gun that like yeah. inserts a track, like yeah. a tracking thing, but you don't know. Yeah. So like, so it's like in the neck. What oh, the f- shit. what the f- shit? Shit! All right, you're 
Yeah. Go on inside. It will naturally pass in 48 hours <laughs> yeah. through the digestive system. What Don't worry f- about it. What'd you just put in me? Wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, it might feel a little tough in the esophagus, but don't worry about it. <laughs> so we go in there, and uh, we're going up the driveway, <laughs> and it was like it was pretty dark. But then you know, and I'm drunk. I mean, we're both drunk, so I'm kind of like trying to look through the front, and then the lights of our Uber just like cast onto him, and he's just standing in the middle of the driveway with Grimes, and they're holding and lamp- they're and their squad too. Yeah, they're, and the little crew. And they're holding uh, lanterns with candles in them. But the only thing that was illuminated to me was Elon's face in darkness. And I was like, <laughs> like, I'm just like a little frozen. I'm like, he's there. I'm here. And I'm, and then someone in the car is like, dude, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I wanted to be like, shut the <laughs> fuck up, man. This is infinitely worse for me. I, I like hearing that you saying it yeah it sound like this is real yeah i swear to yeah. god yeah this it is, sounds fucking absurd yeah we drive it sounds like a story you're yeah. like one of weird copy yeah copa pot copa pasta copa pasta. pasta yeah yeah it's some weird copa pasta you yeah. know type of thing let's go out for italian let's copa pasta <laughs> it like swear to god this is real we pulled in the driveway and they're standing there with lanterns yeah yeah it was like what what the fuck and then we get out of the car and then everyone is, you know, just going down the line, you know, just, and he's just going, hi, I'm Elon. Hi, I'm Elon. And then Cody goes, hey, what's up, dude? I'm Cody. Because <laughs> he, like, skipped me, and I was like, there's no chance. I'm not shaking this dude's hand. There's no chance. It was just, like, a weird, like, I was standing yeah, in a no, weird place. And so many... he was, like, it was more natural for him to go to the next person. I was like, there's there's no fucking way I'm not shaking his hand. Yeah. Hey, what's up, dog? I'm Cody. <laughs> he goes, sick oh. house. Paradise, my dog. <laughs> so... Endless possibilities for a wild soul like me in here. <laughs> so then, dude, that moment where he like looks at me, he goes, hi, I'm Elon. I'm like, oh my fucking yeah. God. And I just wish someone could have taken a picture of just me shaking his hand and then just putting my tweet in the middle of us. Yeah. You yeah. know, just like that fucking screen, that fucking Snapchat of me saying, just woke up from a wet dream of Elon fucking my wife. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm looking this full in the eyes. It, it, it. <laughs> I know it's funny. Like, I'm sorry. I just like had a fucking moment. I'm like, yo, you're real, homie. Yeah. Like, you're not just this distant like billionaire figurehead. <laughs> yeah, you're standing right in front of my fucking face. <laughs> and we were joking. Like, what if he was like, so Noel, do you really want me to fuck your wife? And just <laughs> did you bring her? What? It's it's funny, like all the all the shit we've talked and all the jokes and all the Elon fuck my wife and Elon fuck my wife is blah 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 blah. So confident in our studio oh, yeah. alone. Elon fuck my wife. This is so funny. Can yeah. you imagine if you listen? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Pulling up, the only thing I can muster is like, hey 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 hey, hey. What, what's up, dude? Hey dude. Hey, love your car. <laughs> so so then. Now, the thing is, I had drank so much water. We just drank a shitload at the bar. And uh, I had pissed many times. I think we all did. But then we get to Elon's place, and after, like, the moment of, like, hey, like, nice to meet you and all that, I'm also, like, I'm going to pee right now. Yeah, I had to piss my pants. I'm going to pee. Uh-huh. Right, right here on the driveway. Yeah. So uh beers being unloaded from a car and i so i just think oh like we should grab this beer and then kind of motion like where can we put this and we grabbed the beer and nope yeah it was funny what is one this other dude in the car <clears throat> was <clears throat> was talking to elon. he's like i love the tesla model x blah 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 blah. and elon's talking to him <clears throat> and they're like uh, they're, he's like thank you blah, blah blah and they're having this conversation and noel and i are just standing in the driveway with beer and yeah. it was like we we had retrieved from the car and we turned around right as Post went and like a couple other people went in the door. Yep. So we just heard the door close. We didn't see which one it was. Yeah. So we're just so like. So we're stuck on the driveway because we don't know which door to go in. And it's us <laughs> holding beer and then Elon and this other guy yeah. talking about yeah. the Tesla or whatever. And this guy's kind of just like, you know. Just, like, just just talking his head off. Just yeah. Get, just winding him up. Yeah. And I'm. <clears throat> and then what was bad was someone else on the driveway goes. Oh man, like he's about to jump in and then I hold the case of beer up yeah. 
But that's that didn't do anything. Elon's like, <laughs> I don't fucking care what you guys want to do. I'm going to have this conversation. Yeah. And so what did it was, by the way, his dogs are fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That much I will say. All right. Okay. I know this. this you got to understand. There's some shit we just, we just can't discuss. <laughs> yeah. Something I'm not afraid to say is his dogs freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> they freaked me the fuck out. If I was high, I'd be genuinely afraid of those things. They look like they were made in a video game. Like they don't look like normal things that exist in his so house. What did they look like? Even? <laughs> so, well, what, what killed the conversation between Elon and this dude was one of his dogs. It's this massive dog. I don't know what kind of dog it is, but the haircut on it is so <laughs> weird. It looks like a foam roller. Like it's perfectly like puffed out. And it's just this big ass head on the end of it. It's just like, and like, it just, it just, it's tube body goes fucking bolting down the driveway. And the other dude, like he like seized up. He, he was like talking. He's like, and then uh, the other dude on the drive was like, oh, he hates dogs. He's like, uh, uh, Elon, 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 uh, can, can we go inside? I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. He starts, like, demanding. You know, what? Yeah, he started, like, demanding, like, Elon, let us in the house right now. He's like, I, I, I can't do dogs. I can't do dogs. <clears throat> and Elon goes, oh, he's the nicest dog you'll ever meet. And he just didn't really move. And then the guy, <laughs> the guy just started moving. Like, he didn't want to stick around because the driveway was fucking pitch black. So, like, that dog just went into the darkness, and that guy's fear really set in. <laughs> like, that fucking thing is going to come out of the darkness and eat me, dog. That yeah. is a phobia. Yeah. That, that is, is a phobia. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you can't control your shit around Elon <laughs> yeah. Musk, that is a phobia, dude. No, he was legit terrified. Wow. He couldn't hang. <laughs> like, oh, Elon, I love your cars. Your cars are so sick. I love your rockets. I love oh, fuck, Elon, fuck you, you piece of shit. Let me inside, you fucking prick. <laughs> What is this little demon dog? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck He's you. Holding the shit in his pants, dude. <laughs> yeah. So there was that dog, but then the other, <laughs> this other like little shih tzu. That thing creeped me the fuck out too because it was so <laughs> little <laughs> and it had like a fifth grader like center part. Like it had like, <laughs> like a little fucking. <laughs> Just like a little boy haircut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Barber, what you want? Hey. <laughs> Just fuck me up. Give me that Elon. Give me that Elon Shih Tzu look. Dude, and that dog. You know dogs, like when you stand around them, like they wag their tail. They kind of like look up at you. Yeah. This dog was weirdly still. It freaked me the fuck out. His hair came over his eyes, and he would just walk next to people, but he wouldn't look up at them for interest. He would just stand next to you. Oh, like a robot. Yeah, oh, like it was a ro probably a fucking yeah, robot, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it a, was probably a robot. It was like a non-player character, like in a video game. Yeah, like just like a little thing that moves around the village. Yeah, but like it, it does has no interaction. Yeah, like that's what it was doing. Like it was just walking between people and would just stand still. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> were its legs even moving or was it just moving via wheels on yeah, the bottom yeah, of the legs yeah, 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 just <laughs> <laughs> like a Zumba yeah, 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 with a weird haircut you mean a Roomba Roomba yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zumba's a workout class <laughs> yeah it was, a, it was a Roomba with a haircut yeah, basically it yeah. freaked me the fuck out <laughs> like, <laughs> I felt like I was on drugs looking at those dogs oh it's the nicest dog you ever meet yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, is it a dog, bro? Are, Are you sure that that's a dog? Real? <laughs> so then, <laughs> so we go inside, <clears throat> and uh, the place is nice. It's a nice place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we just we drank you know, for a little bit. We chilled. You know, we, we didn't. We didn't really. It was one of those situations where we were nobody. So. I don't like. We didn't like explore. Like we were none kind of, of a fly on the wall. Yeah, we just we just sat there and drank and just kind of were like <clears throat> the whole time. We're like, holy, f what the fuck? It was like us and like eight other people. Yeah, and it, so we're just in Elon's house, just deep at his house, house blasting. Yeah, just yeah, just the whole time. The same whole time. song was playing the whole time we were there. About an hour and a half, two hours. At some point, <laughs> at some point, post is like. <laughs> Yo, who makes this and is like, this is fucking sick. <laughs> like, he's just like cackling at it. And I was too afraid to laugh. Like, yeah. I thought I was going to get hit with a laser. Yeah. But I'm like, Post can laugh at it. It's fine. <clears throat> so. And then, and then, okay. So then, then we're like, okay, we got to get out of here. Cause it's like 3.30 AM mm -hmm. and 
I don't know where the, what's going on anymore. I, just I don't know where this night is going. I just so we gotta go home. Gas in my tank. Yeah. Right? I just had to go. So we're like, all right, uh, post. We're gonna leave. He's like, all right, no worries. And we start heading out, and we like went down. We came from downstairs, and we went upstairs. So we just went back downstairs to try to get out to get, try and leave. And there's like this long hallway of like doors. <laughs> And we can't tell which door is the one to the outside. And we didn't want to like open up a door and all of a sudden it's like, <laughs> like so, you know, some giant rocket ship. And we're like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> some dude welding a rocket ship, a personal space. It's like, yeah. We just see, spaceship. We just see Elon's escape pod. Yeah. Yeah. We're like, oh. And he's and looking at us like, and he's like, y'all got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you got to get the fuck out of here. And we're like, the technician. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's plotting a course to Mars. Yeah, he's like a <laughs> giant map, and he's <laughs> just looking back at us. And there's a, and there's a countdown on the yeah, wall. Yeah, it says yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah, we're just like, like, oh, that's what you guys are doing tonight. God damn. He's like, the three of us can go. <laughs> I can make it leave right now. The three of us can just go. Because the planet's about to explode and we can leave. <laughs> We're just, what would you do? Oh, oh that'd be a crazy ass what night. What would you do? Wait, that's a great premise for a movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Elon's house. You yeah, go yeah. downstairs and then some dude is planning the escape. He's like, like I don't want to go with Elon. Yeah. He's like, I'm, I'm the guy who designed this rocket. <laughs> I was, I, I'm ejecting it right now. I don't want to go with Elon. I want to leave this planet. It's about to explode. Elon is really annoying. I did all the work for this. It's not oh, fair that Elon gets to come. You guys hop in this shit with me right now. I don't want to be lonely. Let's go to Mars. We're like, oh. Look, I mean, I gotta fucking. I gotta record the podcast tomorrow. But I mean, I guess we could do that yeah, from Mars. We could, yeah, we could. We could do that from. Um, <laughs> let me text my girl real quick. Yo, apparently the planet's about to explode. Is it cool if I just dip real quick? If shit's tight, like I'll come back. Like, don't worry about it. But I'm gonna dip like real fast. Yeah. So like, apparently, I don't know, this is what some I'm, I'm being told right now. That. The planet's gonna fucking like explode, and <laughs> and so you mind if I just like kind of dig or what's good? Uh no. Come home <laughs> right now. Would you believe him? Would you believe a guy who said that to you? Like if there was a rocket there, yeah, fully fabricated, yeah, with a guy, the scientist, yeah. in a lab coat, yeah, and he's like, "Dude, it's this is real. It's leaving." But, he, but what if he goes, "You first? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's I, a I tough feel, situation. I'm just imagine like we both walk into that capsule, and then he just shuts the door, and it's an incinerator, and he goes, "Psych!" And then he just <laughs> fucking kills us. <laughs> Elon, it works. It works. Plasma. It works. It works. You Elon's like, in. thank you for taking care of those two yeah. guys. I'm sick of those fucking jokes. <laughs> so, so whatever. Um, we go downstairs. And I think it's it's key that I tell this from my perspective. Okay. Because I think it's infinitely funnier okay. this way. So, like, we go down this hallway and Cody's like, is this the door? I'm like, yeah, this is the door. <clears throat> so we open this to the garage. But it's a six car garage. It's like a weird shape. It's not just like a straight line garage. And then everything's closed. And we're like, fuck. Mm. How the fuck do we get in here? So we, Cody kind of makes a face. And I'm like, we have to ask him. Oh I didn't God want to. Damn it. I, I didn't want to talk to him, but we have to. Because we're just trying to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. You know, it just didn't feel like our place. So like we go upstairs. <laughs> Cody's in front of me going up the stairs. <clears throat> and we last saw him <clears throat> in the kitchen. <laughs> so Cody kind of mo like he's heading into the kitchen and then he stops and he turns around and he just looks at me and he makes a face. He's like, <laughs> it's like the, it's like the white guy, like, <sighs> like <laughs> lips tucked in like the, <laughs> like one of those. And I'm like, whoa, what's up? He's like, oh, he's just, he's making out with his girlfriend <laughs> right now. And I was just started laughing. I'm like, if, if we just walk over there and try to separate them, like, yo, dude, uh, can we fucking get the fuck out of here? Or I know like, you guys are sucking face right now, but <laughs> we need to fucking dig. Thankfully, one of her friends like walks by and she's like, and, and Cody's like, could, could you just help us get the fuck out of here? And then she goes, yeah, I just, nah. so she like leads us to a door and we leave and we walk. And she's down like, the, I always, 
I always leave the lights on, or I always forget to turn the lights off down here, or whatever. They're like, do you live here too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the situation? What's yeah, the what living situation? Here? What is? Yeah. What's the deal? Because this yeah. is confusing. Is it is it a harem? Like, what's happening? I feel like the richer you get, the more people you live with. You like go through. You know what I'm saying? You like you have roommates when you're poor, and then you get rich enough to live alone, and then and you, then you get even richer, and you start living with more people. Yeah, because you start basically an apartment complex. Yeah, because you have that much money. Yeah, like, and yeah. then you're, it's like your staff, and then people that are just like, "Can I live with you?" And you're like, "Yeah, fuck it. I, yeah. I don't want to be lonely." So yeah, yeah, come on, come yeah. with, dog. Yeah. So it was the weirdest. Oh, that took, was the weirdest moment for me. Walking upstairs and and like peeking into the kitchen and just seeing <laughs> <laughs> just Elon Musk and Grimes playing tonsil hockey. Just and I was fucking like, go whoa, in. Whoa, whoa, I should not have seen that. <laughs> like that, that's something that was like, now yeah, we're gonna yeah, get killed. Yeah, yeah, that's very private. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh fuck. It turned to you, and all of a sudden there's like a little red laser on my head. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh shit! And then it's just like <laughs> tracking <laughs> along the ground <laughs> to me. I, I swear start... I won't jump. <laughs> so so we leave and we walk down the driveway and we go outside to like wait for our Uber and we're just sitting on the curb, <laughs> like hammered. When we're just going, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened, bro? What the fuck was that? I uh, man, I like this is. I know this seems fake, but it's <laughs> it all like fucking some bullshit. true. Yeah. It's all true. It's all true. And I, I don't know. Maybe we didn't set it up enough. Like, I don't know. We're not too dramatic about it. But, like, it was just, man. Man. Yeah, you cannot <laughs> tell a story like that. People, you know, people are, I feel like, you know, half of me is like, well, just act like you've been there, dude. Act like you've been there. No, you can't. It's no. Elon Musk's house. You can't act like you've been there. No, no one's been there. No. No. Shit was nuts, it, it dude. Was. <laughs> What a weird, weird turn of events. Yeah. I'm still thinking about his dogs. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wish I took a picture of. That little Shih Tzu. I'm going to see that in my nightmares. Just this non-interested Shih Tzu. That thing freaked me out. It's going to be the the uh, the face from my dog video. That Shih Tzu. Yeah, yeah. It had the deep voice. Like it, first of all, moves without moving its legs. Yeah. And then it looks up at you like this. It just goes. <laughs> Dude, the shit that I think what freaked me out is like I leaned over to it and I went, I was like, hey, bud, like to pet it. And it just didn't do anything. <laughs> it just stayed still. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, and God I, damn, I like, funny. I leaned lower and I touched it. Like I like, to like rubbed the back of its head and it just like, it didn't move when I did that. Like I don't, just in my mind, that's what happened. I'm like, hey, the physics don't apply. All right, fuck this. Like, I'm are not, you even a dog? Are what even, are you? <laughs> just looking at my hands like. <laughs> Elon's like, oh, you must have walked through the acid mister. You came into the house. <laughs> acid mister. <laughs> I put acid in all the misters. So, you know, it just makes everyone hornier. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Yeah. Was, <laughs> fucking weird. Fucking weird ass night. So strange. <clears throat> yeah. That guy. Oh, no, I'm going to say it. And it just it just felt just felt like some matrix shit, dog. Just the decoration, the attire of some uh -huh. people. Uh huh. Him. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm like, all right, tight, dude. Yeah. So that so that was uh that was Elon's place. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Can't believe we just told that story on the podcast. Yeah. Can't believe we got the opportunity to tell that on the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Uh, Elon. Thank you for all the material and the uh, experience. Bro. Yes. Thank you for inviting us into your house. We appreciate it. <laughs> even though I don't think he even looked at us after no. he, after I was like, hey, by, by the way, dude, I'm yeah. Cody. Yeah. All right, dude. <laughs> My friend was like, why do you let you in? Did you think you were one of those uh, Thai kids stuck in the cave? <laughs> oh, my God. And I was like. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he, he was actually telling me to go back in it so he could save me. <laughs> <laughs> what was the, what was up with him calling the... Oh, dude, I was reading about that last night. So <clears throat> my understanding is he put out that video of the submarine and then one of the guys who actually went down to save the kids was like, oh, it, w it wouldn't have worked. And he was like all, you know, basically saying like, thanks, but no thanks, you fucking out of touch millionaire. And then Elon just like spazzed on him and and was he just slipped in the word pedo he just was like oh you pedo guy like something like that 
I, I don't know. I like, I don't really understand like what caused him to say that. I don't know if he was calling him a pedo for like wanting to save the kids or I don't fucking know. Hmm. And then, uh, and then he followed up. Someone goes like, Oh, Elon just called the, the cave guy a pedo. And then he goes, bet you a signed dollar. It's true. I just, Elon said that. Yeah. Just weirdly, weirdly aggressive towards this guy for no reason. Yeah. Hmm. Just seemed like, uh, <laughs> Seemed Weird. like a moment there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, huh. Yeah. That's bizarre. Yeah. Can't really. Uh, can't really call it. Anyway, um, in the fucking news, mm-hmm. what else we got? Uh, you see six nines new chain. Speaking of pedos. <laughs> yeah. So the boy Dan put that together. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> that shit was crazy. I've never seen a piece of jewelry like that with, in my entire life. With hair. Yeah. Yeah. Have you? Mm-mm. This dude got a chain. With real human hair on it, that's like dyed, like it's a it's shaped like a like a pony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like a unicorn. Oh, dude! Or it looks like a horse. Six nine is uh, signaling. Oh, he's a brony. He's a pony. No, he's into the pony, pony play. play. Wow. Yeah. yeah, he's into the pony play. Damn. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yep. Mm-hmm. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that chain though, what, man. It, what if six nine was a brony? <laughs> That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> My Just, little pony, right? Right? It's all about friendship, right? Treyway. Trey <laughs> Nayway. <laughs> Nayway shit, blood. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nayway shit, blood. <laughs> <laughs> Nayway. <laughs> uh no, I, I I I we could get we could get dramatic with the boy Fusi. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's talk about that shit, dude. Because so many people are like, you got to do that's cringe. You got to do that. That's cringe. Nah. And I started watching the videos. And I'm like, dude, this nah. is sad. <clears throat> yeah. This is just sad. It's yeah. truly sad. But I'll happily talk about it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The comedian in me has to get this out, right? Like, like uh, it's, it's very easy to laugh at. You know, PewDiePie had a pretty good video about it. I didn't see his. I, I watched it. It was pretty good. And, uh, um. Yeah, so I first, yeah, I tweeted that thing where I was like, uh, I deleted it, but I'm like, Drake didn't acknowledge his son. He's definitely not acknowledging Fousey, too. Mm-hmm. You know? <clears throat> and I was like, kind of like thinking of more jokes. I'm like, oh, bet Fousey is uh, texting an imaginary Pusha T number, trying to get a shout out on Daytona, too. And I just started like going down. But then I started to think about it. And I'm like, this feels like one of those moments. It feels like when fucking Britney Spears shaved her head mm-hmm. and everyone was just like getting a fucking shot in. Dude, there was like 17 videos on my homepage about yeah. this shit. Yeah. So I, I like went and like from PewDiePie's video, I watched like him doing like this fucking straight up like manic episode in this parking lot. Yeah. And he's standing on a car just or some screaming shit. and he's like rapping. He's like doing acapella of this music video he just put out. And I was just like, bro. So what, what, what is the whole story? <clears throat> so he, Puts on this event. <clears throat> Hold on. For people who don't know who FuseyTube is, yeah. he was like a a big YouTuber like three years ago or some shit. Three or four, like big prank YouTuber. Yeah, he used to do pranks, and but, then he started as a vlog channel where he was vlogging, and he used to do like millions of views. Yeah. yeah. And then he like faked some shit with rice cum to get views, and people just eventually started realizing he was just like a shitty, not genuine guy. Yeah, because he kept, like, he would, he faked the thing with rice gum, and then I think he, like, kept doubling down, and then he kept trying to, like, bait people into clicking with, like, apologies and, like, drama. And eventually and, it became, like, he was, like, really unstable, and it was very clear. Yeah. So people just kind of stopped gave, giving a shit about him. Yeah. And so then he started streaming, I guess. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, he's, like, I think he's been on Twitch and, like, or, like, oh. doing stream stuff I don't, okay. I don't really know but anyways like streaming things yeah he's just like he's just like you know he came from this place of like being on top of the world yeah. in terms of like youtube and yeah yeah you know having an audience yeah to to not doing that anymore mm-hmm. so then i guess he wanted to organize a concert yep in five days uh, yeah five or seven or something like that for what reason um i don't know I think he was like trying to do this thing of like I don't fucking know. So he got on like no jump the no jumper podcast or like live stream. That was after though. That was after yeah. Yeah. And he's talking about but what how, happened with the with the concert. Uh, so this concert was like 
it it like had a bunch of music acts that were just like <clears throat> no name artists, you know, just whatever. It's kind of cringe. Some of it, other whatever. Keemstar was very obviously paid to show up, and he just like, does this awkward like shout out. <clears throat> the the venue is like a quarter full, and the whole time Fousey's just like bragging about how oh it's full, it's full. The tickets are gone already. Blah blah blah. And people was fucked up is like Keem starts interviewing people. And people are worse. St- I don't you know. I just feel fuck it. They were dumb enough to believe that Drake or J. Cole or any of these guys were going to be there. When the fuck have those guys ever been at a show for free? And that and what, the whole point is, or the whole reason why that happened or why people believe that is because Fusey 2 was like, if you materialize, or like if you yeah, believe it, it'll materialize. Yeah, that whole dumb. He was like, if you're positive enough, the energy will put. Drake on stage <sighs> and it's like dude no, this no. Is like, there's yeah. real world there's yeah. the way you know what I'm saying like yeah. shit works the way it does for a reason he read the secret and was <clears> like <throat> okay I'm gonna materialize like all this shit yeah so it was all like the whole point of the event was to hype this song release it, like it kept calling it July 15th July 15th and he like dropped this song which is just a rice gum disc that's all it was it was He's like he was trying to do like some Kanye shit where he's like trying to be controversial, trying to be annoying, trying to stir the pot just to drop this diss on rice gum. And it's like, <clears throat> dog, I haven't even heard a rice gum diss track in forever. Yeah. Who like, the fuck is a shit anymore? It's a very stale like. And so when I saw it, I'm like, ah, man, this guy has he's really out of touch. Like, I think he just doesn't understand YouTube, like the community, like I don't think he really understands it anymore. There's a point where it fell off for him, like in terms of interest and being able to grasp it. I think he thought he was going to do all this because he says it. He's like, this track is going to be played everywhere. It's going to be a club banger. And this, I think, maybe ties into his like materializing shit, whatever. But he puts out this track and it's just like, bro, you could have just dropped this, got the same views and did none of the antics and, and maybe revived your channel a little bit. But like it... Yeah, it feels bad. You know what I'm saying? And and like on one hand, I feel bad. The other part of me is like, this is just a dude who didn't get why he was popular. Mm-hmm. He wasn't popular because, you know, he, he he was like a Logan Paul. Mm-hmm. Like, no one gave a shit. Like the whole like drama thing. Like he, if he just kept vlogging and just shut, like just said sorry and just kept being himself, people probably would have got over it. Yeah, but it's like because he took it so personally and i don't know man i don't know i don't follow this channel i'm sure someone will correct me on all this but it's probably what you're more just what you're saying like just became unstable and just i mean he's just very clearly in the interviews afterwards he was on no jumper and he's just like yeah going crazy about this shit like Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it's just very it's like sad i don't know Mm -hmm. it's sad i i yeah i because here's the thing dude is like entertainment it's such a fucking privilege to just be in it in any capacity. Mm-hmm. I know like people are like, Oh, YouTube, it's not, it's whatever. It's a, it's a hack job or it's I don't whatever people want to say. I don't give a fuck. It's just as difficult. It's just as difficult to entertain online as it is in like traditional media and all that shit. You got some? No, sorry. No, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know. So I get it. Like some people, like it takes a toll on them, but I think I just, <sighs> It just I just feel bad looking at him is yeah. ultimately what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know? It's I want to clown him, but then on the other hand, I'm like, oh, fuck. I I, <clears throat> I feel bad. Like no, I Oh yeah, for sure. I like, feel it, something for that. He's just yeah. Like he's clearly going through some shit. shit. Like he's clearly like I I keep using the word unstable, but that's what it is. Yeah. And it's like when someone goes from having a ton of like recognition and people mm-hmm. people watching their shit and mm-hmm. a big ass audience to People not caring as much anymore. Yep. That is a fucking hard thing to deal with for yep. even a person who is stable. Yep. So for yep. a person who's like kind of bipolar like he is mm-hmm. or whatever, whatever it is, mm-hmm. I think he said in the interview that he was bipolar, I think. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's just like, you know, yeah. he needs some help. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, have you ever watched one of his like vlogs? I watched one like, like way three back. Three years ago, four yeah. years ago, something like that. I watched one and I was like. <laughs> I just remember thinking like, yo, this dude is going to hit a max. Like he doesn't look like he's built for this shit. Yeah. 
but he looked like he was just like his eyes just kept getting wider and wider. Like yeah. <laughs> every fucking video. I'm like, yo, this dude's going to break. Yeah. It's so, yeah. So, I mean, I can't, yeah, there's no real, that's cringe. <laughs> Sorry, we can't, we can't we like can't clown really, this dude, but. Yeah. Like I want to, but mm-hmm. it's just like, yeah, this, this guy is really spiraling, man. Mm-hmm. But the thing that makes me sad is like, usually <clears> when <throat> this shit happens, there's like a jolting that kind of like reels people back in. And the fact that he's like doubling down and tripling down and like he can't stomach it. It's like, I don't know if there's any fixing it. Ugh, like I think he I might just be like in a rut and he might just like, you know, it's only going to get worse. Mm-hmm. And it, it is crazy to think where he might like be in like a year. Mm. He has 10 million subscribers on YouTube. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. And he gets like, I, there's some videos that get like 100K views. Yeah. I'm just like, that must be so gutting, man. Yeah. Should yeah, just do reaction crazy. videos, homie. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. That's where it is, bro. <laughs> that shit's crazy, man. Yo, you should just fucking cringe to shit, Yeah, dude. dude. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> or just start reviewing food. Yeah. Food, not feud. Food C tube. Food <laughs> Food C tube. Complete rebrand. Complete rebrand. Hi, what is up everyone? It is Food C tube here. Eating some from delicious. delicious. Puss puss. <laughs> so we have wet wet puss puss today. Uh, our boy Mark Weens. Mark, What's he doing right see, now? See Mark Weens, that that should be your model for YouTube. Yeah. Just like stone machine output. Yeah. On the dot, every day, you know what you're going to fucking get. Every day he posts? No, no, no. It's oh. like it's like once a week. Now his vid... He, I mean, he's just full up doing, like, just TV shit. Yeah. Him and, like, this other dude, they do 30-minute videos. Damn. Some are 40. Wow. Yeah. That's the move now on YouTube, dude. People are doing yeah. that shit. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing, is that fucking now Keemstar is posting, like... <sighs> I didn't watch any of the Shane Dawson videos on Tanacon, no. but I saw people like freaking the video. Like, They're the best fucking videos on YouTube, whatever. This motherfucker did three half an hour long videos on Tanacon that was supposed to be unbiased, but it was like, uh, and people said they were great. I didn't, again, I didn't watch them because I, I don't know. I, I don't really feel like there's that much to say about Tanacon. Yeah. She fucked up and that's what it is. And yeah. she's, yeah. right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And so I think, I think I read someone's putting together a class action. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, against good times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or yeah, her and the event company fucked up and mm-hmm. her team, mm-hmm. whatever, right? Mm-hmm. She fucked up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so now Jane did like three, three part series on this thing. Yeah. Again, I know people are going to crucify me for this because they said that they, they were great videos. I'm not saying they weren't great. Yeah. I'm just saying I didn't really think there was that much to say about it. But again, I haven't watched the video, so maybe I'm wrong. I, I Anyways, watched part of it. Okay. I'll confirm that. And? It's a, I mean, like, it, you know, I appreciate what Shane does, you know, a lot goes into the editing to try to make it dramatic, <laughs> but it's like, I've, there are, there are people who feel this way and they've done videos on it. I'm not afraid to say it, you know, I take nothing away from him, but it's just like, you know, it, it, it's not that big of a deal. Like he, he kind of, he's great at positioning it. Like he's uncovering like all these facts and like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, nah, man, like they oversold, they kind of knew this guy really wasn't equipped to put on an event of this size. It's just like a lot of bullshittery and then it fucking fell apart. It's not a big deal. Yeah, exactly. It's only a big deal. And I think people, the people who are rightfully charged up about it are the people who like paid money, flew out there thinking that they were going to be like this thing that was promised to them. And they, they got shit for it that much. I get, I mean, so, and now, so the reason why I bring that up is because Keemstar is now doing the exact same thing with this Fusey concert thing. Because, oh, by the way, the Fusey concert got shut down because of a bomb threat. Yeah. Some Somebody, like, called in a fake bomb threat yeah, and it, it got Russ. swatted. It was Russ. And it was Russ. Yeah, he was like, uh, they better shut it down because I'm going to blow it up <laughs> with this fucking mental. We got to talk about his new song, by the way. I haven't heard it. It's so, so corny. Anyway. Anyway, so now Keemstar is doing the same thing. And it's like, this is why people hate YouTube and don't take it seriously is yeah. because you take things that traditional media does so well, yep. like uncovering things that are actually interesting yep. and editing, like all the sound effects and cool dramatizations and nah. stuff like that. 
you know, that like yeah. that like yeah. Keemstar uses in the thing <laughs> are great when you're talking about like an actual mystery or something yeah. that's cool. Not the circle jerk of YouTube. Yeah. Like you can't make a three part hour and a half long in total series <laughs> about this fucking concert that failed. There's not that much to say about it. Yeah. And it's a circle jerk. No one yeah. else cares but YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is like the kid who's heading up good times. Oh man, like I don't know how anyone listens to him talk and like not think it's bullshit. But also, you can just look at him. If you're like, this is the guy putting on the event, you're like, of course it fucked up. Yeah, like <laughs> just yeah. going around an event on a fucking on a Segway. Yeah, you know, you know what, like like concert event people sound like they're assholes and they're all like forty. Yeah, they've been doing this shit a long time. You know, like nothing about him scream producer to mm-hmm. me. So I'm like, yeah, of course this was bad. Yeah. And but it, do you know what I mean, though, about, like... No, totally. Taking this shit and just, like, milking it for yeah. views and no. for whatever. Yeah, and it's no, just no. like... Yeah. It's like you're not actually doing... You're not making real entertainment, I don't feel like. No, I, f- I feel you on that. Like, well, what it is, it's like, like you're saying, it is a circle jerk. But it's, like, it's dramatization about, essentially, kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like to anyone on the outs who lives in like the real world who is not 17, 18, just like binging the shit out of YouTube. It, it, it's like, well, yeah, of course this went poorly. And who the fuck are these people? And why do I care? It's like, it's not like some, yeah. it's not a major yeah. con. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like to any like functioning adult that's like, that went to school or like is out of college, didn't even go to school. It's just like any functioning adult looks at the situation and is like, this is not drama. These people are idiots. Yeah. I feel dumber for watching this. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. And I hate, I kind of hate giving this commentary because it makes people feel like, oh, like we're, what are we, the fucking holy grail of YouTube? No, content? we're no. not. But it's like, it, it's the biggest compliment to me when someone is like, oh my God, like I'd never really watched, I'd never watched YouTube, but I was on yeah. your channel and I saw yeah. that one cringe video or whatever. Yeah. And I thought that was really fucking funny, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's, that's what tight. I strive for, you yeah. know? Yeah. Not like, for sure. No one has ever gone on Keemstar's channel and been like, dude, I watched that half an hour thing you did about Fusey Tube, another YouTuber in that concert he threw, which yeah. was weird and didn't <laughs> exist, didn't exist in the real world. A concert that never actually happened. Yeah. That's sh- that documentary was dope, yeah. dude. Yeah. You know? And no one is not no one's saying well, I think that's the problem that's long been the problem with like digital content is like there's like bridging that circle jerk and mm-hmm. getting like the creator, like some creators to understand it. Like it has to go bigger than you yeah, to get more people like into it and to understand it. That's, that's long been my mm-hmm. problem with like do like people are like, they want to see me do reaction videos mm-hmm. and people have made the comment like, Oh, I'm funnier on your channel. Cause it's like, yeah. Cause when we're together, like talking shit about something that's natural to me, mm-hmm. like two people, two people, aspiring comedians, whatever you want to call us, Mm -hmm. like wanting to like, you know, just like be funny and like clap on something. Uh, I like for me, it's hard for me to like just put shit out on YouTube because I feel like some pressure to like make things that are about YouTube Uh and that's not what I want to make. Yeah. You get, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 So I don't know, man. I I feel like there's like that weird. And what's funny, what's funny about that is like the shit that is most engaging on YouTube it is in fact like it is like within like the community right yeah you know and it's funny how like traditional stuff like it gets shoehorned in there like fucking conan and no one cares for it yeah you know well they do but they it's do, like but it's, it's not, not the same yeah, yeah it's not the same i totally agree and so like i am a little bit of a hypocrite when i say this shit because it's also like i do like watching the youtube circle jerk of stuff course. because i'm part of the circle jerk yeah we That's are why. yeah we are i just think like at that level to drag it out for an hour and a half and make yeah. a three part series. Yeah. No, that yeah. doesn't need to happen. Make a 10 minute video. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and again, not fucking hating on Shane Dawson. I know he does the, he does that shit great with conspiracy videos. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, is that that shit is like real entertainment. I feel and like. That's, and that's what I mean is like, like for me with Shane, I think, and here's the difference with Shane it's like something that like you could tell like he's crafting and trying to figure out how to be better at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like he treats it like kind of like art. Like uh-huh. he puts in the work. Keem is has long been a dude who's just like, okay, how do I stay relevant? Mm-hmm. How do I stay? Like he is like fighting to just be in the YouTube community. Like he has to 
do anything and everything. So like, well, it's like, all right, Fortnite's popping. We're gonna do Fortnite, Fortnite tournaments. tournaments. Shane Dawson's videos are popping. Okay, let's do, do a yeah, three part that, series. Yeah, it's that shit. Yeah, yeah, it's that whole shit. So whatever. We probably said a whole bunch of flagrant. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Cody had to answer the phone. Anyway, we probably said a bunch of flagrant shit that was probably gonna get us in trouble with the with the circle jerk. Yeah, whatever, probably with the community. I mean, mm-hmm. it's not that we don't care. We do care, but mm-hmm. it's. I, I get what you mean. It's mm-hmm. like. It already like there's like that stigma to be be to be a person putting content on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know how you feel. Do you ever get an apprehension when people are like, "What do you do?" and you try to dance around that word YouTuber? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. I'm actor, not. comedian, entertainer, yeah, YouTuber, yeah, podcaster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So I get and guys like guys like uh, Keem and like this whole Fousey shit. Yeah, it just it makes it. It just it's like one of those things that Google can point at and be like, this is why we want other creators and <laughs> yeah. more professional people on the yeah. platform because this is what you guys do. <laughs> yeah. This is what you do. This was fine two years ago. Yeah. Now we have a much bigger audience and this shit's not good for the business. Yeah. So whatever, man. Yeah, dude. What the fuck is up with fucking yo, fuck speaking is of Gug, by yo, the way, yo, dude. Speaking of googly eyes. <laughs> fucking I sent a clip in our little uh, talking points and uh, it's this news it was like some shitty news story about emojis okay like how emojis oh I saw that yeah. shit yeah I, I mean, saw that old. shit wait play that shit yeah yeah it's that old. was funny should I play it yeah play it and there's a specific part of this video that killed me I was like man I don't know you know I'll just oh wait oh wait what before we get into that should we should, we should call back something else that happened earlier this week? What? Something that we can't talk about legally. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What can we even fucking say? Well, we can't. What we can't, we can say the facts. Okay, okay. okay. What are the facts? We got invited to go to Dan Bilzerian's house. <laughs> Yeah, this is not shit. Okay. I don't know why we didn't follow up the Elon Musk yeah, story with know. this shit. I don't know. Now this is coming in at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, we also went to fucking Dan Bilzerian's yeah. house. Um uh can I can I say the we, house was the biggest house I've ever seen? Yeah, I, because I, that shit's public. I yeah, looked it up should, online. Yeah. And that shit's public. Yeah, no, that guy lives in a literal resort. Yeah, it's. The, we, I don't know if we can discuss the contents. <laughs> okay, okay, you know okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything about the. So that, he made us sign a fucking NDA. <laughs> yeah, that's what we have to put. We have you sign an NDA to go to, into that house. Wait, I don't even know if you can say that. Our NDAs. Sometimes in the NDA it says you can't talk about the NDA, or the fact that you signed one. Mother, damn! I think I got a copy of it yeah. in my email. Yeah, look now it up. I'm scared. Look it up. Look, I okay. I will unapod- unapologetically say, uh, you know, I felt like an incel in that house. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, yo, we we get in there. And Dan is mother, that fool is Emperor Chad mm-hmm. to the highest degree. 100%. It was some Roman, like, God shit. Like, we get to this part of the house. I don't know if I can say what part. And it's basically, like, steps. And he's got, like, this fucking throne. I don't and know if you can say that. He puts that thing on Instagram. Okay, People yeah, have yeah, seen yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so basically, we walk in, and he's sitting on this You can see it on his Instagram. And there's six, like... <laughs> <laughs> Egyptians holding yeah, yeah, holding fanning, him up, fanning him. One of them is feeding him grapes. Yeah, with leaves made of um, uh, they're just uh, they're like scented with basil, v- vagina oil. <laughs> okay. uh, a little bit different from what yeah. I said. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can see it on his Instagram. It's a picture with Post Malone, and he's sitting on this throne with these girls around him. But it's like the positioning of it when you walk in and when you see him and like the architecture like surrounding it you're like wow i'm a loser in here i'm a fucking loser i'm beta male i'm no one fucking beta beta yeah beta yeah i immediately like created an incel account and started just posting about how women only want <laughs> you know uh by the way uh mr mr dan Lazarian, he's not a 6 foot dude fucking shredded though yeah he's jacked but it you know it does help to be ripped. Yeah, you don't have got to be tall, but it does help to be ripped. I'm gonna look this shit up. I'm what? gonna look up this this look damn up. NDA. No, did you? I have it right here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 
Can you d- even read this? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to read it in my brain. Yeah, read it in your brain. Wait, can I even do that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just says at the top, do not read. Yeah. Part of- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it was a hell of an experience. Uh, oh, man. I don't want to get sued for this shit, dude. This is a long ass. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. I mean, just why don't you do a quick search? Like, uh, can I talk about it? Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Cody is like the face he's making right now is like it's like concern Gen- genuine concern <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we we were we were in his place and the thing that's funny to me about that is now it's gone full circle with two important things Cody's lifting his eyes I'm just gonna <laughs> do this like I'm going solo right now the thing I'm scared dude the thing that's Please, like nobody 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 yeah. tweet him. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Please don't. That's just, my least favorite thing ever when I see someone be like, oh, so I'm, Cody talks about you in the podcast. At, and and, you're just and just then like, at us. It's like, no, no. Fuck. Um, yeah, don't tweet at Dan. Yeah. I mean, we've only complimented him. Yeah. We've just called him like the Emperor Chad. And yeah. we felt like betas. So mm. whatever. Um, what the fuck is going to say? The thing, this is, a, this is a second full circle thing for me. Because he blew up my fucking Instagram. Oh, yeah. When he posted one of my vines. Yeah. And, and Way back in what? Like three, four years ago. Damn. Yeah. I think I checked recently. I think it's still there. It's like it remains one of the only funny videos he's put on his Instagram. That's crazy. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So. Um, you should have said that. Yo, dude. Yeah. What's up? So you might recognize me. But, no? Are you sure? Who what is this, I, bitch? this way? What if I, I, dude, I, I bring the hat and the shirt. Yeah. Or what if I say this? Who is this bitch? Ring a bell. <laughs> He's like, no, dude. What? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Who wants to be a millionaire? No. Vine? No. Ring a bell now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that dude uh, has piercing eye contact. He's got <laughs> alpha eye contact. He yeah. didn't break. We were standing in a group and he spoke to us. I, I don't know if I can say what he said to yeah, us. Yeah, you can't. But what I can say is for the duration of those two sentences, he stared me right in the fucking eyes and he didn't break. I felt I felt like a bitch. <laughs> like, you're going to listen to me. I'm like, yes, I am. And I listen, I listen to every word. I was like, yep, okay, yep, yep, got it. Uh, damn, dude. Yeah. So we, we went to Danny, Danny Bill's house. And God, shit was nuts. It's been a weird week. It's been a very weird week. It's been an awesome week, but a very weird Here's the thing now is I'm after watching Fousey's situation, I'm terrified of just like falling off like hard <laughs> as fuck and we're on this high. So I think I'm just going to commit suicide this weekend. Jesus Christ, dude. Like I need to beat me before life beats me. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to take me out the game before the game takes me out. I think there's like a graceful way to, cause I was thinking about like everyone, I was thinking about it earlier and like everyone gets older, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. it. That's, That's all it. I really got to say. It. No, no, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about it before, and it's like people people have, like, you know, there's people like, like what? I don't know, fucking, like Beyonce. And she, well, no, she's still fucking killing it. No, there She's are, still killing there it There are somehow. people who always. We'll get older, and they're like, all right, I'll have a family. Yeah. Sorry, keep going. No, no, no. I think, at, like, in terms of, no, I think in terms of comedians, what, I get what you're saying. As a comedian, I feel like, there's a, there's there's more forgiveness and it's it's not easier but it's like it's more practical to stay in entertainment because as a comedian you can still offer insight and funny points of view as you get older. I was more saying like with with music and stuff and with everything there's there's a way to fall off gracefully. Oh yeah, sure, sure. There's that. I was everyone just, does right. Everyone yeah. gets to an age where it's like I, I'm more focused on having a family and raising a family than remaining relevant. In terms of true, my true, art, true, because it's true, like yeah. you know, I'm always going to do art, but it's like it is if you if you want to remain in the public eye, especially now, yeah, it's there's such a high degree of like maintaining mm-hmm. awareness of what's going on around you, mm-hmm. figuring out how you can capitalize on trends, all mm-hmm. that stuff. You have to do that shit mm-hmm. now, right? Yep, yep. you yep. kind of do unless you're like yep. an absolute legend, then yep. you can kind of just sit back and yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I think that's harder <laughs> to do with with music, mm-hmm. and it's harder to do with music. I think with YouTube and all that, um, it's it's pretty like it's taxing, but you can stay dialed in. And like when you're offering comedic points, people are more forgiving of how you look 
obviously look at you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> like when your hairline's bad and you're getting old, like people don't seem to mind it, right? My hairline's not bad. No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> no, but it's like you. You'll always enjoy hearing like Bill Burr mm. talk some shit. Yeah. You know, a, a 20 year old Bill Burr and a 40 year old Bill Burr are always entertaining. Yeah. So it's 40 year old's like, better. Yeah. Right. So, like, that's what I cross my fingers for is I hope I could be entertaining like through my life with music. Like, if you're a pop star, like you're Ariana Grande, there, there is a fucking max on that. Yeah. Like J Lo and them, they always try to come back like when they're 40 and it's always like a really like sexy song and it's not. Hot. Yeah. It's always like, J-Lo's back. And it's this really big fucking PR push. And everyone's like, isn't she like 45? Yeah, but it's like, when you've, <laughs> when you've done what they've, what they've done, and yeah. you like leave a legacy like that, you yeah. can kind of just coast on that shit. You can, but I'm just saying, like, I think it's harder to do. Yeah. You can't be 45 dropping like sexies back again. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, you listen to Justin's, Justin Timberlake's new shit? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's like Ooh, yeah, it? I, I can't oh, really man. take it seriously. <laughs> oh man, no. But he's he's now going out on a big ass tour. I mean, yeah, because he'll always have that brand, but yeah. it's still just like it's not it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. So whatever. Anyways, yeah, just to get super depressing on everyone. <sighs> yeah, we we took so we took a turn there. I but I it's feel been like an interesting episode. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I had to be honest. Like, I kind of felt like I had to talk about the Fousey thing because it legit like scared the shit out of me. Yeah, really. Above anything, damn, it scared the fuck out of me. Cause I'm like, dang, dude. Like, I I pray I don't ever take it that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think H three one time was like talking about in some video. Oh, it might have been the podcast he did with PewDiePie for some reason. I was watching mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. maybe, and they were like, "Why do people's channels die?" Oh. Uh. One of them was was like because they let themselves become uninteresting. Yeah, they don't push themselves. They're yep. doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, because yeah. it's working. I'm pretty sure Ethan said that. And they're not, but it's like, yeah, yeah. And I think that's definitely true. But I also kind of think it's like sometimes people do do make a change that's unnecessary, and mm-hmm. that's what. Yep. So who knows? Yeah. You know? Yep. I think you just got to keep pushing yourself. Keep yeah. learning. No, nah, and like I think the biggest thing is just acknowledge your audience. Like, yeah. If they're like, yo, this shit is like people do it here on the podcast all the time. Like, hey, this episode is fucking depressing. Like, be funny. <laughs> I know. We like, right, a lot of comments on this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like we need that, and then like the next episode, we'll come back with suck our fucking dig or something our like that. Fucking dig. You know. Yeah. So it's it's I mean, entertainment's a scary thing. Um, I mean, I'm just kind of a a lost soul, you know. I'm just a big old lost soul, wild soul, wild soul, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, wait, I had a, I had a, I think I had a bit in here. I had a, where are we at, by the way? Also, I want to, uh, 108, I hate, I gotta go, I hate to do oh, this, but goes. I gotta fucking go. Here it goes. Um, so I want to do, I, I thought about this last time. Someone, someone commented maybe, maybe on Patreon or something. I want to, I want to, yeah, it was, it was. Yeah. So someone commented and was like, uh, you should, what did they say? You should play our music. On the thing. It could be a cool, fun, like, you know, uh, audience interactive segment where you play our music. Yeah. So we get recognition. And I was kind of like, I was thinking, I was like, how can I, how could I be like more involved in that, I guess? And I think what I want to start doing maybe is, is, well, we'll see if it works. Fuck it. I don't know. Yeah. Play a beat. Like, you know, I usually make beats like every week. And it's like how, like, I have to force myself to do it to like get better and practice and whatever. I want to eventually be able to produce all of our shit moving forward. Not yeah. all of it, but like, yeah, you know, a, a lot percentage of percentage of it. Yeah. And so like, you know, obviously I just need to fucking keep making beats to get mm-hmm. better as, as, you know, regardless of how bad they are. So I kind of want to do something where every week I play a beat and then I link the instrumental and people who rap, who listen to it can rap over it. And then I'll play the best ones in the next episode. Yeah. The Patreon tape. Yeah. And then eventually like, I kind of want to, by the end of the year, maybe, or early next year, like do like a, Patreon mixtape where it's just, yep. it's just like my beats, your guys is rapping. Maybe we'll do a or verse singing. or two or something yeah. in there or singing, whatever you yeah, want. Whatever Put a chorus fuck. on it, whatever. We don't give a fuck. So here, maybe for this one, I'll play this beat. This one's a little bit weird. I don't, I don't really like it that much, but it's the only one I made this week. So, um, one second. Let me just find it, please. It's called Awful Beat Truly Bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let it ding, my guy. Hey. Yo. Oh. Yeah, it's working. Oh. 
Ey. Gute. Gute. Ja. Gotta fucking suck my dick, bitch. Uh, you gonna suck my fucking dick, bitch. Uh, <laughs> you gonna suck my fucking <laughs> dick, bitch. Uh, you gonna fucking suck my dick, dick bitch. Yeah. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. I don't want Ben on Rory. I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing. All right, there it is. There That's it the beat. Is. Bang, 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 bang. I'll boogie, upload that. Ski, I'll link ski. it. Yo. I'll link um, it on my stupid ass beats SoundCloud. Ass beats. And if you want to rap over that, go for it. Fuck with the boy. I'd love to hear it. Fuck with Who the knows? Boy. Maybe this idea will crash and burn. Yeah. We'll see. And then that's going to be the one that fucking says tiny meat gang fucking sucks. Fucking oh, we didn't talk sucks. about the <laughs> our, our rebrand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got to have that screenshot that in here. Quick. Okay. Someone sent me. Okay, this is Belle Bongiovanni. She commented on the Patreon. She said, Friend's mom asked about TMG, and when my friend tried to describe who y'all were to her mom, she said, they make a comedy podcast called The Meat Guys. <laughs> the Meat Guys. So that is now what TMG stands for, The Meat Guys. That's that's for all the all our 16-year-old listeners who have no way of telling their parents about Tiny Meat. You could also go, I was thinking of some alternates, uh, the Manlet Gang. Mm-hmm. Okay. The Manlet Gang. I like gang. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, two the, masculine guys. Two masculine guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. Um, oh, Matt said on my Instagram, two marvelous guys. Two marvelous guys. There you go. <laughs> there you I go. I like the meat guys. Uh, the meat guys, yeah. That sounds, sounds like, like a butcher a, shop. This, that it sounds like a great show on the Food Network. Yeah. Oh, we could get a Guy Fieri feature. Mm-hmm. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. A guy feature. Guy feature. Guy feature. Guy Fieri. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Guy Fieri. I'm here. This is right. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. We're rolling out. <laughs> um, All right, guys. I got a fucking dip. I got a dip. I got this video to edit so that it can be live tomorrow, and it's funny. You should I, watch it. I got a video to shoot and edit. Shoot. And me too, actually. I got to yeah. shoot the first part. Yeah. I wrote it last night, but now I got to shoot it. Same. Because I spent all of Tuesday, all of Tuesday, <laughs> playing fucking Fortnite. Yeah. But I made that beat while I was playing. So, so I was, it, I got something out of it. Yeah, he did. All right, guys. Kind of. All right, guys. See you next week. Uh, bonus episode coming soon. Yep. Next week. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, bitch. It will be next week. It will be next week. Wait, last minute house cleaning. Uh, uh, next round of posters has gone out or will be going out. Okay. Yeah. Should should be out by the time you hear this. Cool. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Shane Dawson. I didn't. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs>